Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jimmy Jr. <laughs> Just Jimmy. Uh, today is the day we're gonna get this boat ready for playtime. Okay? Yeah. A lot of you guys um, have been asking to see the inside of the boat because if you've seen some of our videos, we've done some modifications to it, did some engine repair, right? Engine repair, yeah. Engine repair, and then I know you guys wanted to see a little bit more of what we were doing, so we figured we would give you a complete inside tour, quick roundabout of the boat so you can uh, see what's going on. Yeah, we'll show you the things that we've done since we've had it, the upgrades, the uh, repairs, all that type of stuff, and give you a tour of the inside of this thing. It's nothing fancy, but it's pretty nice out in the water. Yeah, a lot, we get a lot of compliments on it. Around yeah, it, we are, yeah, for being the age of it, which if you guys want to take a minute, guess what year it is down below. I'm sure we're going to tell you here shortly, but... It'll be in the title, right? <laughs> yeah, it, it, yeah, it'll be in the title, but take your guess, right? This is a 1977 Sea Ray SRV 220 hardtop. Um, the trailer that you see here, it's a Cox trailer. Funny name, I know, but it's a 1966 trailer. But uh, it's totally, we totally redid this thing. Stripped it down, sandblasted and redid it. We'll tell you more about that here in a second. So with that being said. Yeah, let's uh, get you guys let's a give tour. You, yeah, let's get you, show you the outside of this. All right, guys, we're going to start at the back of the boat, tell you what we've done so far back here. Uh, from the get-go when we got it, we took this thing off, this whole thing, and we redid it. You can see it's all painted, new stickers. We put new pumps and impellers and the ram seals and stainless steel braided hoses on some of it here. The new limiting pucks on the side, all that. This has all been redone. We even did the, the prop. You can tell we don't hit ground much at all because it still looks pretty good. Paint's flaking off a little bit. New anode on here. And then just recently, last year, we took even the gimbal ring off, sealed everything up, changed a few things, and sealed that up too. So this has totally been redone. It's pretty awesome. Works great. Then we'll come, the swim platform, it's teak. It's small. We kind of like the wider one. We haven't found one yet, but it works pretty good. We put this extending stainless steel ladder on to help you get out of the water, but that's pretty nice. Changed all the lighting on this boat. These are all LED lights. Down here are the trim tabs. These are the stainless steel trim tabs. They work great. Everything here works awesome. These are those lights we did. We did a video on. If you guys haven't seen that video, we'll leave a link here down or a card somewhere up here. Card and a link. Card and a link. But these are these are pretty awesome. They work underwater. Uh, and this is our third attempt at it. And so far, they've been working pretty good. So that's pretty much the back, guys. And we move along here. Not much to see on the side. We just put this new boot stripe on couple years ago yeah, it's holding up pretty nice uh, nothing else on the side pretty much the numbers of course buffing and polishing all the time yeah. would be in that gel coat yeah I'll tell you a little bit about the trailer because the other side of the boat looks like this boat or this side so nothing different like I said we took this all down to bare metal sandblasted it painted it replaced what needed replacing new wires new lights new rims new tires we put new shackles and stuff on the suspension Every this trailer is a roller trailer, not ideal. We would prefer the bunks, but we took every one of the rollers out, the the metal pins in those, and replaced with stainless steel. So, lots of stainless steel in those pins, so we won't have that problem ever again. Uh, we just made a few decals here and there to, to make it look good. We mounted the spare tire up front with the cover. It's got the lock on it, which it's it's pretty nice to have it there because when you're trying to get on your trailer, it's something to step on. Plus we got some aluminum diamond plate here. You can see this aluminum diamond plate we put there. It gives us a little more grip when we're walking in. Again, all LED lighting. The, the front, we put a new jack on. We put a new jack on the front. This we put new on. It's been on here a few years now. You can see the rust here. They, never, they don't make them like they should. New rollers on the bow rollers. Uh, we put heavy duty 
safety chains in a bright color in case they fall off in the water. And that's pretty much duplicate on this side. And then like he was mentioning, we have them upright on the trailer. Beautiful to have when you back in there in the water and know where you're centering it. We had a few few problems. Our first outing with this, we it was way off off center. And I also seen uh, a trailer. It was a snow uh, jet ski trailer, but the 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 bunks had lights in them. That would be awesome, like a friggin' runway. So we might do something like that. All right, this is the front bow here. We put new LED. I guess you can call them headlights. They help us see the dock and stuff. Uh, you also have your your uh, bow light there for left and right. We also put the LED version of it here. So it lights up really nice. Looks like a face. It does. You Pepe Le Pew. Eye, you got two eyes and a little stash. It's pretty nice. My dad calls it Pepe Le Pew. Like a little mustache here or something. <laughs> All right, let's go up top and see the inside. Oh, welcome aboard. <laughs> All right, we're gonna start back here at the stern on the starboard side. Back here, this is all original wood. It's the teak. We just, well, actually, this is not the original wood. These are. This is marine grade plywood. We finished the other wood was no good. Uh, each one of these, which are cool, we have these for insulation. But each one of these are coolers with drains. They drain out the back. Awesome for drinks, you know. Keep your beverages in there. This here is just like a storage compartment. You can keep maybe some extra oil or belts or something in here. We also put our on off switch for the batteries in here. And we added shocks in here so this stays up because we always had that problem. So that's pretty nice. Now the cushions, you can see, this is our, our newest upholstery job. My dad did this for us. Uh, he was messing around with that stuff, but it, it looks pretty awesome back here. You'll see when we get further up front, our first attempt at it, but we went with the, uh, the emerald green with the off white. They look good. This here, what happens with this is this will slide forward, this comes off, and it'll lay flat, and it makes like a bed. So that's pretty cool. And that's on both sides. The other side we just have off because of the ladder, so you get on and off easy. Then you go down to the floor. This is new last year. Me and my younger son put this in. This is the new carpet, marine grade carpet. Pretty awesome stuff. Now here's the, here's the business end of this. Like I said, if you guys watched any of our other videos, we did have done work on this. This here is a Mercruiser 898, which is the 305 engine. It has the original Quadrajet two-barrel carb. Um, the bilge, you can't really see down there, but that was all cleaned out. We used uh, that flex seal to seal it. And we also have our pumps down there. We did the intake gaskets, new plugs, wires, new brand new distributor, bunch of stuff that this runs like a top. It's great. Especially for a bolt this year, it works really well. And that's it back here, really. I mean, you can see the new speakers goes to the Boss stereo system we put in here, Boss Marine. Uh, we have a big subwoofer, subwoofer here. He can show you that. We have the big subwoofer. Thing sound, it, it sounds really good. Yeah, it's like a box. It's a, technically in a box. Yeah, this it's this thing box. is it's a, is a natural box. We can show you that when we get up there. But it makes its own sub box. It was a perfect spot for it. Ooh, and Fire extinguisher. Fire extinguisher on both sides. Um, they're the ones rated for this. Uh, we do have the boat, the boat bumpers in here. We put new vinyl in here. All in here is out in color changing LED lights on both sides. We also have, it's in here. We also have our flags for our bow. America, you know what I'm saying? For the front of the boat. We also have one for the rear that goes on the pole back here. So, pretty nice. And all this teak has been done. And we don't have it up right now, but you guys can imagine this is the Bimini top covers this whole back piece. This is new a couple years ago also. And up here, LED floodlights. They shine the whole back of the boat in water. So, if you're at night in the water, it's pretty nice. All LED throughout. We also wanted to show you guys on the back, we did make some uh, makeshift PVC pipe uh, fish fishing pole holders. So this was the old color scheme, so we might possibly change the colors of these, I, yeah, I suppose. We also got some emblems up there for the sea ray. And then pushing on a little bit farther in here, this is the old upholstery. Uh, this was our first attempt at it, but we're going to go with that color that you saw on the back. So 
you know, it's a project that is slowly working its way in. We have the speakers. We've replaced those with the Bose ones. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit crammed up here right now, but as we said, we're getting it ready again for uh, dewinterizing. How about that? And usually every year we do a, yeah, usually every year we do a little bit of something, so we'll probably finish this vinyl out. Need to pull like one of the first things. Yeah, um, so over on yonder we have the radio. We upgraded the radio. Boom, there we go. Right here we also have a nice 12 volt plug, a USB too, just in case you need to charge your phone or any devices. Um, doo -doo -doo. Propane stove. This is uh, this is a different one, right? This wasn't the original. Yeah, the original was an alcohol one. You can't even see the flame. It's kind of sketchy. Especially when you're on a boat. <laughs> I mean, it's good to, for 77, but this one works a lot better. And then if you want to back up, you can show them. A lot of work has been done to here. This has completely been uh, refinished, repainted. Uh, additional gauges in here. I know we have the uh, actual voltmeter in there now. Different switches engine start button every one of those switches you see on that panel have been redone and the fuses have all been and the holders have been replaced and of course make sure you label everything so you know what it is then right up above we have the tablet holder this is uh we use the tablet for the uh navionics yeah so you know the depth of uh some water in the areas you're going but you also have your uh what fish, fish finder, finder which has depth as well colored screen i wish we could turn this all on for you but we we're not to that point yet and then a cell phone holder, because who doesn't have their cell phone there? <laughs> Anything else you want to add in here that you're seeing? Like I said, we've been doing all the gauges. We got most of them replaced. I think we got two more to go there. Our first ones we replaced were these. We don't like the color, so we're changing them all to the white. We like those ones. Of course, your trim buttons and your shifter control. This is both for the throttle and the gear, so pretty nice. One shifter. And your trim tab controller. That's it up here, really. Oh, underneath here? Tell them what we got down there. Right down here is our little... Uh, oh, yes, good. We also added the shock in here because that way this doesn't slam down and it's easier to open. Uh, we keep a lot of our maps in here, emergency flares, anything of that nature that you're going to need because this is kind of right under where you're going to be sitting because the seat is here to drive. So you put your feet on here and you also have some extra storage right in there. So that's nice. All your capacities, all the, the buoys, what they mean, all that stuff you're supposed to have there. And then just a miscellaneous fishing hook just for that extra piece of decor. Well, we recarpeted all that too, the side stuff. It holds the, the hooks really nice. Now let's, uh, oh, you want to talk about uh, yeah. the little CBs and radios? And radios? Yeah. We got two of these up here as well. The one on the left is this, just a regular CB. It's nice to talk to the truck that's backing you in. The other one's the new uh, VHF radio. You listen to the With the weather. distress button, all that. You listen to weather. You listen for people who need help, stuff like that. So it's pretty nice. Again, your galley, small, works. Down here you have... Oh, my bad. Let me get out of your way. How about this little section here? So right down here... We got the fridge. This is the standard fridge that came with it, so it, it's a little little messy right now, but it's something you got to clean every uh, year. I don't, anyway. I don't even like it. I think we should switch that out. Too. I agree. It's it's kind of kind of ancient. Then we keep our pots and pans. We also have our amp for the subwoofer and speakers. So also underneath there is the. I don't know if I can get it it's where you guys can see it. It's dark in there. Well, there it is. That tank right there. That's an air tank. That's for. The air horn. This thing has a ridiculously yeah, it's, loud it's, horn. It's a loud one. I almost wanted to put it on my truck. Cool. Next, where are we going now? Right into the only other room on the boat, you know? <laughs> Just this, give me a second. I'll open this up a little bit. This is the cuddy cabin. Uh, it'll sleep too comfortably. Mm. It's also where your porta potty goes. It does have a section for it. It's not on the boat, of course, because it was winter, but... We did redo this piece because right up here it does get a, you know a lot of water touching it and the wood kind of rotted out a little bit so we just replaced this piece. Oh. Then boom you have access out of the boat. And then right in here it's looking really good. We redid 
basically everything, all the cushions, oh, cushions, upholstery. We have the badge up there as well. You got your little cubby for storage up there in case you wanted to put something in there. And you also have the LED lights right across the top. So you have some really good lighting in here, which is ideal because it does get a little dark. And underneath those side trays are all LED lights also. Yep. Uh, this is where the main part of the storage is. I mean, of course, under the seats is your freshwater holding tank out here. We didn't show you that, but under the center one he's got his hand on, oh. that's where the porta potty normally goes. Yep, so you have that space for it. Much needed thing. Then the other ones, I don't know if we can lift it up too easy, These but small front ones you can. Oh, yeah. These side ones have some storage. This is where we keep a lot of the extra tools and parts that we might need while yep. we're out. Yeah, an extra village pump. We got some extra seals, some tools, some hoses, uh, water, set, fuel separators, tools. So good spot for all that. And that's on both sides. Yep, both sides. And then you also have uh, this one is all one piece. This is all one that you can lift up, and it's got more storage underneath there as well. It's a comfortable little cabin. And then that little compartment underneath the symbol. Yep, that I was saying for the storage. We don't put nothing in that, but I mean, I guess you could put some. We could make that like a cool little there. shelf in there if we really wanted. Or buy a glove box. Inside. Yeah, that, that goes inside of it, yeah, so it, it nice. stays up at the front. And then that's pretty much it in here. There's a nice toilet paper holder here and a, a plug outlet in case so you're plugged shore into shore power. power yeah. yeah. So you have some stuff. It's got the LED lights up here. You can see them up on the ceiling. Sorry if I'm not that loud. He's got yeah, the I mic. Had the mic on, yeah. <laughs> uh, again, here's the seats. You can see we're going to redo it. That one's got a hole in it. But there's the fresh water tank under there. And the pump is there. We winterize that every year. So that's nice. And under this one is also storage. We just keep all the life jackets under here. I don't know if we have enough room to really do it, but you can see there's life jackets and stuff in there. They're in there. And like you said, you can show you this one. This is was a natural storage area. So we kept a little thing here with the quick access tools, but as you see, it's its own little cubby. So it was kind of a natural spot for a uh, subwoofer to go into. It's oh, its yeah, own makeshift speaker box. I know, I love it. It worked out really nice. All right, everybody. So that sums up this uh, quick boat tour. Yeah, we figured since a bunch of you asked and we never really fully gave you the tour, this is it. It's our little uh, cruiser. Yeah. So, so it's a nice boat. So if you guys have any questions on any of the things we've done to the boat or you want a little bit more follow-up, please just drop it right in the comment section. We get back to them pretty quick. And if you guys need to see something more in depth or have some questions, we can hook you guys up. In case you have a boat like this or you're seeing some of these upgrades that we did that might be good for your boat right if you have questions about the motor or anything like that we know this thing about a stern so <laughs> hit us up we can answer them questions for you uh and if you guys got any suggestions what we should do to it too please those down in the comment section we're open for that we'd like to do something different so if you found this video useful or it was something that you enjoyed please hit the like button and share and if you would be so inclined to hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed it we do appreciate the support uh anything you want to add into that not really just like you said that thumbs up button youtube's algorithm you know help us out a little bit we appreciate all that help yep so we can grow this channel big and bring you guys what you want to see so why not exactly <laughs> <laughs> fit that in there that's yeah but if you guys didn't see that that's what we named the boat why not yeah so why not hit subscribe <laughs> yeah why not so Till next time, guys, try something new. Do a little bit of everything.